Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 13th, 2023, from Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this, I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. Obviously, much more than 144,000, as this verse we hear about a great multitude that no one could count. From every tribe, every people, every language, not just from Abraham, as I noticed I noticed that they were before the throne of God, before the Lamb of God, and they are clothed with that white robe, a beautiful imagery of holy baptism, this time with palm branches in their hands. And the palm branches should bring about another imagery to mind, that of Palm Sunday, where the people were waving palm branches, rejoicing, as Jesus was riding a donkey into Jerusalem for his upcoming crucifixion and coronation as he was becoming king of the Jews. This imagery of Palm Sunday is indeed important because it's going to be the beginning of another celebration by the saints as Jesus brings in his kingdom on the last day. Verse 10, And crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Notice the song of the saints that will be sung on the last day. His salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. You see, that's also our song of salvation. And the ongoing lips of the saints should be echoing this song, keeping their focus on Jesus and what Jesus has accomplished for us. His death on the cross, his rising from the dead, showing us the forgiveness of sins and how we are reconciled with God the Father Almighty. Verse 11. And all the angels standing around the throne and all the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God. So now you have the imagery shifting to the elders and the angels, the four living creatures, all bowing down with their faces to the ground in a sign of reverence, respect, worshiping, glorifying the throne of God. Verse 12, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Now, this select choir, so to speak, has their own song focusing on thanksgiving and praise to God, reaffirming that all power and might belongs to God forever and ever. Again, if you take a look at these songs, they keep our focus upon Christ and what Christ has done and who Christ is. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.